WFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Monday, the 22nd of August, 822.22, I like that. I don't like the fact that the Dow is down 425 at 32,280. Uh, we've been warning for the last uh, week or so that we're probably in a very choppy place and that the Dow should test the 200-period uh, exponential moving average that it went above. And that if you look historically, in other words, if you look back the year, you'll see that the Dow has gone over this 200 period moving average before that in, in March and April, and then turned down sharply, and now it's come back and it's trying to go above it. If you look at the S&P, it's exactly the same thing. The S&P is down 64. At 41.64, it went to 43.25. So the Dow is at a peak F. The S&P, I can get rid of that now because it's made a confirmation that it's at a peak F. Chapman wave in the daily chart. That says, be careful, you can pull back sharply. It's now under the 200 period exponential moving average. 4140s is going to be the next area of support. Looking at the QQQ and DX100, trading down almost six at 316. Went just above the uh, 200 period moving average, made a peak G. I'm calling that a G now. It's making itself much clearer. We thought it would be. Well, there it is. And now we're pulling back quite sharply. So the 316 level is important. I would say 312 is the next very important area of support on a very short-term basis. Looking at the IWM, it was actually acting quite nicely before it made a doji candle peak F top at 201.99. It's now at 191.68, down 297. Yep, here as well, it's a peak F. We're looking at the gold contract. Gold contract is down 17 at 17.45. Made a doji candle peak D in the Chapman wave under the 200 period moving average. Couldn't get above it. Well, what went above it is that the uh, uh, the inverse, the mirror image of the dollar moving up, up 33 ticks at 108.41. Leg B, it's got the left side target of 109.29. That was the high of the 19th of... Uh, I think it was the 19th of July. Let's see if it's going to get there and what does it do when it gets there. We're looking at uh, the crude oil. At this particular crude oil is down sharply. It's under the 200 period moving average, down for 86. And if you're looking at the TLT, that's bonds. Uh, bonds are down 42 at 112.61. Yields are moving higher. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour and check out my opening called 80 newsletter. Hope to see you in a few minutes. Have a great day. <laughs>